I'm so glad we finally decided to do this. Me too. While I have some time on my hands, I figure why don't we talk about tandem dies, also known as tandem floors. Who are you talking to? Basically, a tandem floor is composed of two different floors covalently linked, an acceptor and a donor. And what this does is it creates a unique spectra because it takes the excitation profile from the donor and the uh, emission spectra of the acceptor. Basically, the way this works is through a principle known as Forster Resonance Energy Transfer, or FRET, where the excitation energy of the first floor is transferred to the second, and the second gives off a photon of light. Good evening, you two. Hey, how's it going? Good. What can I get started for you? Uh, actually, I'm going to have the filet mignon. You can okay. do that medium. Okay. Uh, and then lobster tail. Right. And the Perfect. lady is going to have uh, the Caesar salad. Just go easy on the dressing. Okay. So there are obviously some benefits with using tandems, right? One of the first is the stoke shift uh, that you can change. Basically, the excitation and the emission profiles, the distance between the two is known as the stoke shift. When you use tandems, you can increase that distance as you can see in those charts. In addition, when you're using or building panels, if you're not going to use tandems, you're actually limited at three to four colors. Once you'll go beyond that, you're going to need to use tandems to add in uh, to expand that panel. And finally, there always seems to be this negative connotation when it comes to tandems, that they always break down or they're not working properly. And that's not necessarily true. They just have to be maintained properly, like any good relationship. There you go. Thank you. So how are the desserts here? Um, they're pretty good. I really like the chocolate pie. Yeah, but you probably don't have too much with your figure and all, Stop right? It. <laughs> Hey, aren't you Ken Lau? Yep, yep. Oh my gosh, I never get to meet celebrities. Can you take our picture? Oh, she'd love to. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Let me give you my number, then you can send it to me. Perfect, yeah. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Oh, she's so friendly. Mm. Oh, I think I got her text. Oh, check it out. It came out great, right? Mm. <clears throat> so when it comes to using tandems, there are some things you should keep in mind. One of the first ones is this sort of rampant myth that tandems are constantly decoupling or coming apart, right? But you have to remember that the bond between those two, uh, the acceptor and the donor, it's actually very strong. It's a covalent bond. So it's unlikely that they're all just coming apart in your solution. What's more likely happening is that there's photo bleaching occurring, either uh, ex excessive exposure to light or free radicals in your solution. Those are probably what are damaging the donor and the acceptor. Number two, when you're doing fixation with your tandems, you have to keep in mind to not overexpose them to the fixative. They tend to be very sensitive to that. Uh, you shouldn't do any more than 20 to 30 minutes. If you're particularly uh, want to be on the safe side when you're fixing your tandems, you can use our fluoro fix buffer, which is just a gentler method of fixation. Other thing you want to keep in mind is when you're using compensation controls. Different tandems are going to be at different stages of their life, where they'll have different donor to acceptor ratios. So you can't use PE size 7 to compare to, uh, with CD4 to compare to your PE size 7 CD25, which is actually in your sample. They're just not accurately going to reflect one another at their stage of their life. Next, you have to also consider companies have different standards, different production methods. Um, the donor to acceptor ratios are probably going to be different between different companies. Fret efficiency won't be the same either. Likewise, that will affect the quality on those different tandems you buy from companies. It's just sort of a fact of life. And finally, uh, you're probably familiar with some tandems. APC has APC Psi 7, PE has PE Psi 5, PE Psi 7, per CP Psi 5.5 is another super well-known tandem. But what you're probably not as familiar with is our newest tandem, which is PE Dazzle 594. I'm just going to call it Dazzle for now. Uh, it's equivalent to ECD Texas Red CF594 PE E floor 610. 
and you can check out this webpage, learn all about our newest tandem, watch our little mini series cartoon that's styled after The Bachelorette. You can see how P.E. met his newest partner, Dazzle. So, um, oh babe, I totally forgot my wallet at home, but you got me, right, right, right? Okay, before this goes south any further, I figure I should probably wrap this up. So don't forget, number one, tandems help to expand your panel. Number two, uh, limit the amount of light and fixative that you expose the tandems to. <clears throat> number three, uh, make sure you're using the right SA tip controls, the right FMOs, the right compensation controls. So don't forget to check out our newest tandem, PE Dazzle 594, like us on Facebook, Subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have further questions, you can ask TechServe at biolegend.com. You can also check out our newest webpage. Uh, it's called Tandem Dyes. You can learn more about them there. Oh, and another.